mates, how's it going? Welcome back to XCOM 2. I'd say it's going pretty well. I know it's still very early days, but we've got an engineer. We're having success after success in terms of actually killing aliens. So let's, uh, well, what I want to do first of all is have a thorough look at what this engineer can do for us. Don't worry about keeping the council happy anymore, even with the spokesman lurking in the shadows. That's right. I turned subtitles on, by the way, as you probably saw there. A few people asking me to do that in the previous two videos. I have now done it. Apologies for my slowness in getting that done there, but no worries. So what can we do with our new engineer? We've got two... Well, apparently uh, she doesn't count as an engineer because she's the head engineer. So we've only got the one engineer. We can't click on her, but I'm assuming that Claudia Muller is going to be a very, very useful asset to our engineering facility. We don't have much money. That's the problem. So... Clear debris. Oh, wait. We can clear debris and get supplies for it. Oh, man. Okay, that's pretty good, isn't it? Let's get that going. Um, This will just do line by line. So far, I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. We need to assign an engineer. Well, stuff out, we could probably use this space for a new facility. Yeah, absolutely we can. Well, we have Claudia Miller, so she can get going on that. Is underway, Commander. Super. It's going to take some time to get all that stuff clear. So that's only going to take five days, which isn't so bad. But if we can find some more engineers, that would be obviously quite could have saved needed. A lot of time repairing the ship's systems if we had any idea how to translate their language. Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. She likes the uh, broadcast to uh, the rest of the ship button, doesn't she, Shen? I bet if she was a real life, she'd be one of those YouTube vloggers that uploads daily about whatever little things happened in her life. She, she likes keeping us updated. And I guess as the commander of the ship, that's, that's a good thing. But, you know, let's keep official communication to important stuff only, eh, Shen? That's what your dad did, and we loved your dad for it. He was a very much, I'll tell you what you need to know kind of guy. Anyway, as you can see, our, memor our memorial is still empty. Long may it continue to be empty. Command. I'm assuming there's a kind of command school, which I'd very much it's like to get. get started, Commander. If we look at build facilities, we do actually have one open spot here. So let's just have a look at the kind of... So guerrilla tactics cool. It was recommended I build this. We need supplies. So hopefully once we've excavated a couple of areas, we can do that. Further increasing the speed of all... Projects. Okay, so that's just a general make everything better kind of thing. Oh, no, wait, I was I was on the wrong thing there. Guerrilla Tactics, cool. A lot of addition. Oh, so it's basically the officer training school, yeah. We want all of these, basically, but it's nothing that we can really think about now. So let's uh, get to Mission HQ, eh? And, well, research. What are we researching well, right now? Wait, we don't have any scientists. We're getting hybrid material soon. Let's just, uh, let's just get going. Our objective, of course, is to make contact with the resistance in the Black Site region. Anti-alien dissidents. Recovered advent equipment is highly coveted. Yes, it is, Tigan. Yes, it is. So, yeah, so main objective, contact the blah, blah, blahs in the blah, blah place. Sub-objective, research, resistance, communications. Okay, well, for now, I guess we just continue looking around. Let's do that. So we're snooping about in New Mexico at the moment, aren't we? Oh, heavens! We have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. Okay. It's the only way we're going to find out. Yeah, that is the general plan. Avatar project. So we can't do that yet, but when we research the required things, well, let's get doing that quickly then. So distress beacon. Commander, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in New Mexico have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. If we get a scientist, Avenger, yeah, let's have an investigation of that. So it seems like America's pretty safe then. I don't know about the rest of the world. But anyway, so we were doing that and then we got to Mexico. Let's let's have a look at this distress beacon and see what's going to happen. Oh, super. Outcome, though it is intriguing. Research available, item available. So, yeah, we're getting there in terms of better armor and better weapons, but don't we need to do that? Seven days on that. Any in biotech? Okay, some stuff we don't have. I, I, want, I want better weapons, but 28 days, we can do that in seven. Would we be smarter to do that? Our weapons at the moment, certainly against the aliens that we fought so far, seem I'll sufficient. Well, certainly against the advent, lads, I'll so, yeah, let's keep up with that. Available. Okay then, anyway, should we continue this, uh, 
investigation into the distress beacon. Okay, so we're getting a scientist. Hey! Super! Thank you for sending additional support staff to assign... Gunnar Hogan! I will make sure they are put to good use. So do we assign this chap in the same manner that we assign the engineers? Or is he just literally, okay, now we do everything a little quicker, right? Living quarters is at the... Um... Soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. I like that we can see this. It's pretty good, isn't it? And of course, we've got our personnel there. Sarah Hoosman, our rangers nearly back. I'd like to get some of these guys leveled up. But of course, I want these guys leveled up as well. I want everyone leveled up. Anyway, so scientists. It's, it's, yeah, I like this. There's a hell of a lot I don't understand. I'm trying to pass it off as though I do understand it. I am still am I... <laughs> work on the current research facility, um, Commander. So yeah, we just quicker now with Gunner in the team. Cool. Cool. Anyway, okay, so I want to continue researching... That service depot, Avenger, if it gives us supplies. So let's head over there. Supplies is what we're lacking right now. Oh! Oh, brilliant. Alien debris done thing. Super. Okay, so that gives us 75 supplies now. We still need lots more. So I know you probably expected better work, um, Claudia, when you joined us. But right now you're basically just clearing the house. Sorry. We'll get you to actual building soon enough. But this is a necessary job, I'm afraid. Okay. Oh! Outcome of this research can only further our advance. Super. Commander. Super, super, super. This is what we needed, wasn't it? Uh, so new facility research comms. New research, research, radio. Resistance contacts available. So this is all good. This is all good. This is all good things that I definitely completely understand certainly right let's go for magnetic weapons because it sounds fun 19 I days that's not too bad is it valuable applications not sure if i'm particularly smart to go for this straight away but i don't think i regret it too much so anyway so now we've got the research is there a thing that we have to build contact the resistance uh so make contact with the local resistance at black sites research resistance communications that's what we've done Fly the Avenger to the specified region and scan for... Man, this could scroll quicker, couldn't it? By clicking the region's made contact button. Okay, so we'll, we'll continue what we're doing at this service depot and then we'll head over there. I think that'll probably be quite smart. So we, we know that that's going to be over there. Oh, hello. We now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make... I contact, see! We'll need to scan the target region for the operative... So, yes, yeah, so now we can make contact better. We can contact more people. And it's obviously over here that we want to make contact with. But, we're, you know, we're working here already, so... We'll, we'll finish our job here, I would say. Get some more supplies up in ourselves. ...scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. I love the council guy. He's awesome. Right, so we done got ourselves a mission. Okay. Uh, we get a scientist and apparently another resource called Intel. Okay. Rescue the VIP from the advent V Hickel. Operation Moonhand. Let's give it a bash, shall we? Course for sector eight, Mexico. Why is it all kicking off in Mexico? Or is that just where we have to fly to to then go and fly to the thing? Right, now... I want to keep everyone, but I also want to get rid of everyone because I want to get some more classes. So, I'm going to keep our sniper. And, of course, this guy's going to be our medic now because that's what we um, we gave him the ability of. He's going to be our primary medic. So, we will make items available. Uh, utility items available. That's a ticket. Uh, apparently, that didn't work. Remove. Thank you. And we'll remove Yoko. As good as she is, I think we need to start getting some... Um, more ranks going about ourselves. So let's go for... I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're all the same right now. So let's just pick two. Michelle Hayes, welcome to the team. So we got our sniper. We got a medic who we should probably give the med kit to. Weapon upgrade. Oh, we looked at that before, didn't we? We haven't unlocked any as of yet. But we certainly want to change his loadout. Uh, are there some types of gremlins we can get? Oh, it's certainly keeping the gremlin. Anyway, why can we not... So I thought clicking make items available dropped everyone's items. Maybe we have to do it when he's not in the team. 
Let's try that again then. There we go, that's what I needed to do. Okay, so good. So let's just check how we're going to use our gremlin in a medical capacity. Uh, soldier abilities. Uh, la 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 la, medical protocol. That's what we went for, wasn't it? So the gremlin can perform a healing action. Gremlin's heal and stabilize. And the gremlin has a single charge. Make it as equipped, the gremlin will gain an additional charge. Okay, so yeah. So he's basically a medic, but also a good soldier. Well, actually, he's not that good a soldier, is he? He's not really distinguished himself much in the last couple of things. But here, this is good. We've got a couple of guys that will hopefully grab some level ups. We've got our sniper, who I'd very much like to sort of rush through the level so he can cover other rookies on other missions. Yeah, I like this mission. Let's go do it. So rescuing a VIP, eh? We could have bought a heavy on this mission. We chose not to. Hopefully we shall not regret such a decision. Okay, so Operation Moon Hand. Let's do it. The spokesman just sent word of a friendly VIP recently captured by Advent who's being moved through this area on one of their transport vehicles. Okay. We're heading in to get a drop on the transport and free that captive. Yeah, we are. Hostile resistance. Secure the area and clear out anyone who stands in your way. Now, the one thing I will say, the heavies kind of carried us on the last mission. Yeah, well, Yoko kind of carried us on the last mission because she had all her grenades, didn't she? So I may regret not taking her here, but, you know, we can't just rely on four people for the whole game. we gotta, we got to spread the wealth in terms of XP, so hopefully these two newbies can distinguish themselves. Hopefully we can pick up a bit of FPS, please. And, uh, you know, maybe actually start this mission once travelling's done. Sean looks bored as hell. There we go. Let's get in there. Man, he's a cool looking dude, isn't he? I'm a fanboy of Sean Hudson. Right, okay. Oh man, the... Jesus, she's miles away. What is going on here? Well, concealment is always nice. Uh, obviously, Mr. Hudson wants to get himself on the roof. Um, so I tell you what, we'll send this Polish chap, Ravel. He can head on the roof as well. We're not timed here, so Moving. I wouldn't say there's much sense in rushing. Apparently going into that door will lose us concealment. Oh, because there's a chap there. Is that a thin man? Or is that just a man with an unfortunate hairline that makes him look like a thin man? Let's avoid him, whoever he is. Let's avoid him, yeah. So we'll head here. Sean, where are you, bro? That's the ticket. You head this way as well. On the move. And then we'll send our medic and our other new person, Michelle. Oh, man, if she go there, if that guy walks out the door, we're going to be screwed. So going over the rooftops, you know, it worked for us last time. So let's, uh, let's see why we shouldn't do it again. This is the only way up. This drain pipe is the only way up, apparently. Got it covered. Well, let's do it. It doesn't take us a second to jump down, but this might be our only chance to get up. So, let's just get everyone where they need to be. Got it covered. And keep concealment as long as we can. Okay, there's aliens on the ground, apparently. Eek, 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 eek. Right, can we get up here? Yes, we can. Okay, let's get... I'd say... Ooh, man, where do we want him? Raffle, let's get him here. Okay, top of the roof looks clear. Oh. can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. That'd be decent if we could do that, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's get a uh, let's get Rafa further forward. It's mainly we're doing this for Sean to get him a good vantage point, but it seems silly not to send the entire squad. I do like, I do like the concealment idea. Right, so Michelle, yeah, let's just, let's just all get up here right now. We're concealed, there's no sense sort of spacing out or moving slowly and overwatching and whatever the hell else. We just, yeah, let's keep, let's, let's do this. Um, so we get Joe Johnson there, hopefully that'll be fine. Oh man, the, the way it went to a cutscene there, I was terrified we were going to lose concealment. But we haven't, so that's okay. Right, Sean Oak, where are you? 
Is that cover? If you sit there, that is cover. That's good. Moving on target. Okay, I still don't see any enemies. Is it worth us hacking this? I've heard from my friends that have played this that the hacking is catastrophic to get wrong and only slightly good to get right. But I want to try. So, I'll tell you what, let's go there with Joe. We'll have a bash with the gremlin in a second. Otherwise, we'll just get ready to hit the ground again. We're going to leave Sean here for obvious reasons. Actually, should we or should we maybe continue moving him forward? I mean, our... Is that our evac zone? And that's where we got to get him. So we might actually be better getting Sean up here. Mightn't we? Still, he's got a good cover of this building. So I think we clear this building as best we can. Everyone has a quick run over here. Gets a VIP. Sean's here covering them. Jobs are good. Okay, right. Who's left to move? Raffle. Okay, we can maybe Probably just set up a little now. overwatch there. So, I mean, if we can get an advantage from this hack, that'd be good. Uh, we'll hunker down, as a matter of fact. No sense losing our whatever. So, we'll hack this via our gremlin. And we'll see what happens. Go on, gremlin. Joe Johnson, I'm still not completely settled on you as a soldier. Right, so what do we got here? Uh, choose a hack reward. Did we, did we win? 15% chance. Gains control of a random enemy for two turns. That could give us vital map information. Or override gives us immunity, but we're in concealment anyway. So I'll take the 55% here. Feel feedback effect. Don't know what that means. I think it means lose concealment, which would suck. But we'll, we'll, we'll have a bash. 55%. Let's do this. Go on, bro. That was bloody hopeless. So... Resulting in a group of enemy reinforcements being called in our... Well, good job, Joe. You, you've made our lives easier there, bro. Didn't get control. They found it. Looks like they called in backup. Yeah. Wow. You know, when we kill the enemies, it's going to be more XP. Let's look at it in that positive way. Right. So there's going to be more enemies than there otherwise would have been on the ground. Um, but and we're not concealed, so everything's everything's kind of gone a bit wrong there, hasn't it? Um, who, who, who can even do a thing right now? Who, who's got movement left? Sean? Ah, oh, Sean needs to just have a little bit of a hunker. Lovely. Oh, and Michelle as well. Okay, so hopefully some enemies will make themselves known. Oh, yeah, here they go. Nice one, Joe. Nice one, bro. Oh, man, that is properly in our location, isn't it? Jesus, how many are there? A commander and two? Is that... So, to, we would have got a control of an enemy for a couple of turns. I mean, that would have been an, a great thing to get, let's be real. But this, is, this has made our lives harder here. Although, Sean, Overwatch, Fire Sniper Rifle, seems like a pretty good idea. 43%. I know he's hit 43% a lot of the time, but... I mean, the guy's only there, and you've got a blooming sniper rifle, man. I'd expect better than 43%, but come on, Sean. Do it for us here. Oh, <laughs> he's just unstoppable, this guy. Okay, right. Really good. Promotion earned. That's what we wanted. Right, Joe Johnson. We need to sort of rectify your error, don't we there, lad? So let's... Well, let's see if he can just pick the guy off. 87% or 70%. Wait, is there three shots we can hit here? Oh, we can shoot the car if we want. Well, that would blow that guy up, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do it! That might blow them both up. Man, this guy thinks ahead. Awesome! Did we kill both of them? No, we didn't. But hey, man, we got one of them. Right, Michelle, if you sat yourself there, I would expect a nice 87% chance on this here track down there. 82, that'll do. Nice job. That meant no match for us. Awesome. Okay, so we've still lost concealment, but we got some promotions out of that. And, you know, the bad news that happened because of the hack doesn't seem to be that bad. So let's get Raffle to there. I know we can move him further forward, but I'd rather he just sat there. 
maybe just snuck on a little overwatch. And that way Joe and Michelle can go with him. Well, that was going to happen. Did they notice the explosion perchance? Oh god, oh god, we got two turns. Uh, sorry, eight turns. Well, you know what? If we don't get the scientist, whatever. I ain't losing, I ain't losing chaps. I ain't losing guys. Uh, so, I mean, that's already spotted us. The whole concealment game is over now, so let's... Let's maybe, uh, quote, haul arse a bit, eh? If we... Eight turns to the distract... Uh, the, 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 the what's it point. You know, if, if we, if we don't get a scientist, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a shame. Of course it will, but... Whatever. You know, I'll take it. Okay, there's no enemies about, so I think we can move her there. Why did I do that? That was such a poor click. She could have gone further forward. If I was going to move her to the point where she wouldn't get an overwatch, then I might as well have moved her the whole way, right? Foolish. Oh, well. Right, Sean, do we want to get you going down, or can you... You might actually be really useful where you are through those windows. So let's just give you a little bit of a reload, eh, lad? And give you a bit of a hunker. Lovely! Really pleased with our performance so far. Right. Moving on target Let's do this. Let's do this quick. Seven turns till extraction. To be fair, for the distance we have to travel, seven turns is a long time. But I don't want to be risking it. You know, considering we've lost concealment, etc. And there's weird noises happening. In fact, Rafa, get this open. And what the hell is inside? Is that just a, a futuristic mannequin? I guess so. Terrifying, though, isn't it? Okay, Joe Johnson. Let's get you onto left front line. Getting it done. So Joe still hasn't actually ever shot his weapon successfully at an enemy, but he's made kills, you know, and he's run objectives, and I know he kind of effed up in that mission, but it's okay. Right, so we'll get this chap on Overwatch. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Okay. We just need to find the way up, really. There's stairs there, and that leads us onto that balcony. And then, where would we go from there? Oh, we can actually, we can actually get to the roof now. How's that work? Drain pipes, of course. Our guys are amazing at drain pipes. Does Michelle want to maybe give that a bash? I think if she just goes there, Sean covers her, which is okay because she can't fire a weapon this turn. But it will give us information as to whether enemies lie inside. Man, okay, right. So, you know, going on the exterior of the building definitely makes more sense to me. There's no advent there, is there? No. It definitely makes more sense because Sean covers everyone, doesn't he? That seemed like a weird, unnecessarily brutal way to go about it, Joe. But, you know, man, you're probably happy that you got your kill, so good. Yeah, definitely going on the outside of the building because of where our sniper is is a smarter way. So we get to the point... Um, do we want to start moving Sean now? Nah, we'll keep him where he is for the minute. And there's no need rushing. As I said, we've got six turns. Shh. You hear that? So the aliens are all there. We'll get on the roof. We'll get our... We'll get our... Eh, we'll get our high ground. That was the word I was trying to say. Okay, so we can easily get to the, ex uh, the extraction point. We can easily secure the extraction point. No one's dying. No one's dying here. If we can get everyone up and overwatching, that'll give Sean a chance to move forwards. Which is pretty much what we want. Going this way might be counterproductive to saving the scientist. Oh, hello. Have they seen us, though? That's the question. There's a commander there and a, and a chap. They have seen us! Cool, man. Okay. And we can see them. 68%. Seems pretty good. Uh... Could, could this guy shoot, or did we already put him in Overwatch? We already put him in Overwatch. Somewhat foolishly, in hindsight. But Joe can get up here. They don't have grenades, do they? Otherwise, I've been rather silly with what I've just done. No, I won't be silly if I've killed them. Right, Sean, can you cover us? You can. 77 on the officer. Let's see if we can get another kill. He took down one officer. And he almost takes down a second. I think maybe just a happy grenade down there might do us some good work. Michelle, do you fancy it? Can, can we even fit a grenade down there? 
Ah, uh, weirdly. Okay, right. Let's just focus on killing right now. 68% for the Advent Officer. We get rid of him. Go on. Go on, love. Hey! Beautiful. Man, our guys are great, aren't they? Okay, and then Joe, do you fancy just taking out that little guy? 72%. That's a good amount of percentages. And he got the kill. Okay. Well, that's pretty damn good, isn't it? Amazing stuff. Right. Ideally, that turn I wanted to... Uh, so, so this guy didn't fire, but apparently he just wasn't in range of anything. So ideally, I wanted to move Sean that turn, but... You know, stuff stuff got in the way, and that's that's fine. Uh, so, Joe, if we want to put Joe over this Order side. Really good that Sean could cover there. I was worried that the building might be in the way, but it wasn't. And that makes everything okay. Right, we will go into Overwatch. Here, we will... Man, I don't feel like that's particularly good cover, but I feel like that might be good cover. Bit of a free run-up for Rafa. Lovely. Definitely smarter to go on the roof as opposed to inside the building, wasn't it? Um, where's smart for Michelle to go? Is that cover if she goes... Oh, why, why don't she just go there? And then she can go on Overwatch and then we can get Sean moving while still covering parts of the map. Moving to Overwatch. Man, to get to that truck and back in another four turns, that's, that's a tough ask, isn't it? Anyway, Turn let's four. get Sean moving. He's done a really good job. Really good job, but hey, man. Menace one five, hostile interceptors are on high speed approach. Your window for extraction is closing. Of course they are. Right. Okay. Uh, so Sean will get. He can go there. Affirmative. That should give him a good view of pretty much everything for next turn. I don't think we're getting this VIP. You know. I think she's just too far away. You know, I'm happy with how we've done on this mission, but on the move. you know, unless she's sitting right here. Then I don't see a happy ending for her story. Moving. Which is just saying there might have been a nice, like, sort of weirdly awkward romance between her and Gunnar. We'll never know because she's going to get taken and experimented on and all manner of unpleasant trees. So not good for her. Maybe we could have rushed it a bit more, but everyone, everyone that I care about is alive. Oh man, she's just there. We're not getting there in two turns, are we? Let, let's just be honest. To get. Down there, back, in two turns is impossible. So, as sad as it is, we're going to have to leave her behind. Heading to that location. But, you know what? We, we we took some advent down, so it wasn't all bad. Um, maybe we've got to work on being more aggressive in these types of missions. We've got advent here. Oh, God, a sexoid chap. Was hoping not to... Uh, I was hoping not to have that happen right now, if I'm going to be honest. Um, can we shoot the guy? We can't shoot that guy. Can we shoot? Yeah, we can shoot. We can shoot someone. We can shoot the sectoid. Or we can shoot. Yeah, that is a sectoid. Well, let's have a bash. Good stuff. Didn't get the kill, but it was good enough. Rafa, can you shoot your gun, please? Because you haven't done that all day. Oh, man, why is he... You can't even throw a grenade. Did he? Did we use all his movement points? Right, Joe. If you could have your way round and maybe finish this. Maybe if you're there, that would be a good idea. Damn it! Oh no, good. Okay, it just didn't upload uh, update for a minute. Seventy-one percent for the sectoid kill. For the possible sectoid kill. Oh, cutscene's promising. Man, okay. Yeah, I'm confident about Joe now. I'm confident about Joe. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to have a reload. She was doomed from the start, this this girl, wasn't she? This scientist. I think it was a female scientist. I think it said that. Anyway, Sean, let's get you in. If we have to retreat, we have to retreat. You know. I'm sorry. We got, we got, we got one turn. One turn to do this. We're not getting there and back in one turn with Advent to fight through, are we? So we get an evac. Rope out the Sky Ranger, only usable inside the evac zone. We're all inside it. No. We're not getting there in a turn. Oh, okay. Bye, Sean. I thought you were going to take everyone with you. Come on, lads. Let's go home. 
Oh, no, these, are these guys. Yeah, no, no, no. We are going to evac. Okay. Bit of a shame. You know, we've we, we, we failed the mission. But everyone's alive. Uh, we made some kills. We've got some promotions. Commander, we failed in our mission. Oh, we man, there are only three more left as well. If that wasn't time constrated, then we would have done that. And I don't think a rating of poor... Well, we, we failed the objective, so of course it's a poor rating. But who knows? Maybe if the hack had been successful, maybe if this, maybe if that. I'm, I'm, I'm still. I know. I know that's a big, horrible red fail, but I'm happy. I'm happy enough with that. Maybe if the hack had been successful, maybe if we just not tried it, stuff would have been different. But everyone's alive. People have people have got promotions, so I don't think it's time for misery, unless you're the family of that scientist that we've abandoned to death. Sorry, that scientist, but it happens in war, and I'd rather you died than one of my guys. So, anyway, promotions for everyone. Johnson, I would have actually said, deserved one there, because he did very well. But this guy got promoted. He's now a specialist. Okay, well, he can eventually maybe be our attacking specialist, seeing as Johnson's our medic specialist. Really happy this guy's got his stuff. So, allows oversight... Uh, sorry, allows Overwatch to trigger with squad sight. Good. That sounds nice. Return fire when, it t when targeted by enemy fire. Automatically fire back with your pistol. The pistols kind of suck. I think this is really useful. Good. And then Hayes. Two kills. Sharpshooter. Do we really need another sniper though? Yeah, of course we do. And yeah. I want another ranger though. We haven't actually got to use a ranger in our mission because the only one that we have has been injured forever. Still. So, okay, we lost Cecil, which I actually think is a guy's name. So not only... Sorry, bro. Sorry, man. So not only did we leave this guy to die, we've been calling him a woman all day long. Sorry, Cecil, mate. But, you know, I think, I think in terms of mission, I don't think we can class that as a complete failure. Maybe, maybe, maybe just a little failure. Anyway, my friends... It's a certain time of the day now where I have to... Okay. For now, we've never had the resources to investigate the possibility of clandestine advent facilities built up outside the city centers. Mm. Now that we've gotten word of this black site, I have to admit, I'm worried about what we might find. They could be doing anything in there. Yeah, we'll probably meet up with Cecil, won't we? Anyway, my friends, it's such the time in the day now that I have to leave to go and earn actual real life money so that actual real life David doesn't starve or freeze to death. So I'm going to have to end the episode. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.